National Law Enforcement Appreciation Day is on Sunday, January 9th. A policeman is a composite of what all men are, I guess, a mingling of saint and sinner, dust and deity. He of all men is at once the most needed and the most wanted, a strangely nameless creature who is sir to his face and pig or worse behind his back. All at once you lost your first name. You're a cop, a flatfoot, a bull. John Law, you're the fuzz, the heat, your poison, your trouble, your bad news. They call you everything, but never a policeman. A, a police department is no, they're just humans, right? They're imperfect. They need training. They need funding. They need support. Right now they need morale and they need people. Whatever your job is, imagine doing it with people throwing rocks at you, people spitting on you, people trying to kill you. And then think about what their job description is. Their job description, these people in uniform, is putting your life on the line every day for strangers. The policeman must be a minister, a social worker, a diplomat, a tough guy, and a gentleman. He must be first to an accident, infallible with a diagnosis. He must be able to start breathing, stop bleeding, tie splints, and above all, be sure the victim goes home without a limp. Chasing psychopathic 15-year-olds down blind, dark alleys knowing they have a gun, but they don't yet have a conscience. There may even be the ultimate sacrifice. Men may be killed for the cause, but that cause must be just. And that cause must, even in death, benefit those who may have to give that last full measure. And that, that may sound impossible, actually. Because how can anyone benefit from their own death? And the answer is actually quite simple. They do so to provide safety and security where their families live. I'm not talking about what makes you happy. It's a luxury to pursue what makes you happy. It's a moral obligation to pursue what you find meaningful. And that doesn't mean it's easy. It might require sacrifice. Being a policeman is an endless, glamorous, thankless job that's got to be done. I know it too. And I'm damn glad to be one of them. Those who say that we're in a time when there are no heroes, they just don't know where to look. How can we love our country and not love our countrymen? And loving them, reach out a hand when they fall. Heal them when they're sick, so they will be equal in fact and not just in theory. What kind of person takes that job? I don't understand it. I've never understood it. I've worked with them. I've played ball with them. I've laughed with them. I've cried with them. I've celebrated with them. And I've suffered with them. But I have never, for a single moment, understood them.